Hello and welcome. Here is a 3.5 inch SATA drive and a PATA drive, also known as an ID drive. Here is a top down view of the SATA hard disk. A match size PATA drive. Let's take a look at the drive connections. A 40 pin male IDE socket. A male SATA data socket. A 4 pin Molex power socket. A 15 pin SATA power socket. These are the standard connections on serial and parallel ATA drives. Connecting the SATA drive. First the data cable and then the power connection. SATA free data cables click lock into place. This is how to disconnect the drive's power and disconnect the drive's data cable. Pushing down the clip on the top of the data cable. Next up is parallel ATA PATA or also known as IDE drive. The red pin on the ribbon cable always connects to pin 1 on the drive. This is usually marked with a 1 or an arrow on the drive itself. The Molex power connector has a tapered edge and will only fit in one way round. Here is a SATA to parallel ATA drive converter. As they no longer manufacture IDE drives, this allows you to connect a modern SATA drive to an older computer. Once the converter is fitted, you fit the IDE and Molex connectors in the same way. This converter can also be used on more modern 2.5 solid state drives. So now let's have a closer look at parallel ATA drives and using more than one drive in a computer. So to use two PATA drives on one IDE channel, you need to set the jumpers correctly. This configuration allows one drive's controller to tell the other drive when it can transfer data to or from the computer. Available choices for the jumper usually would be limit drive's capacity, slave, master or cable select. Jumpers can be quite fiddly to reposition, although some have a small extruding piece of plastic which allows you to remove by hand. The drive notches are usually marked on the underside on the PCB of the hard disk or on the drive's label. Most IDE cables have two female IDE connectors on them, and most old desktop motherboards allow for two IDE socket connections. What this means is, on a standard motherboard, you'd realistically be able to use up to four drives. However, one connection would probably be taken up by an optical drive. SATA drives are not usually linked in this way, as the data cable is a lot smaller, and you usually get at least six SATA data ports on a standard motherboard. So to round up, SATA drives are an improvement over PATA drives by speed and they have a lot smaller data cable. They are also hot swappable which means you can remove them while the computer is still running unlike PATA drives. So that's about it for our beginners tutorial, hopefully you got something out of it. So yeah if you did like and subscribe, thanks for watching.